welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Kendall. And I'm that, Brighton. And that's Brighton. And in today's video, we're just going to be doing a little Saturday vlog. We're just gonna go out. Um, we're going to like this giant hardware store that we've never been to, just to like walk around and check it out. And I think we might go to some antique stores and see where the day takes us. So join us for the ride and let's get into it. So we stopped at the university to get some Chick-fil-A and then we're gonna go to the hardware store which is like 30 minutes away. So we figured we'd get some lunch first. We gotta do it on the I physically can't. I no. can't click my no, heels. You gotta try it. No. You gotta try it. <laughs> Fun. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the car and make our way to the hardware store. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this lighting's crazy. Okay, so we just got back into the car after going to the hardware store. How'd you feel about it? That was, that was awesome. It, it had was huge. literally everything and anything you could think of. Every brand of tool, every, everything. Everything, they had a whole Carhartt section, um, Dewalt, Makita, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, like everything, Bosch. Every, literally everything and it was so organized and like so everything was in stock like everything was stocked really well um they had like kitchen stuff home stuff they had like a model home that you could kind of like walk through in in the middle of the building it was so cool and there's a hole downstairs that we didn't go to but that's just for like if you're going to build a home like they have like siding stuff and bathrooms like they have all the other stuff down there um but now we're gonna go next door and there's actually like a bakery that I wanna check out. And I think there's a restaurant too, but I just wanna go to the bakery cause we already ate yeah. lunch. So we're gonna go check that out. Okay, so we just went into the bakery. Did you get any videos in there? No. It was cool. I got whoopie pies, which in PA. Gob. In PA we call them gobs and it's pretty freaking good. Like, it's so good. Um, so I'm just eating that, and now we're just gonna go for like a little drive around the area. <coughs> it's a cute area, and look at houses, and yeah, we'll update you with what we do next. So we just got back from running around a little bit ago, and we um, made a little bit of dinner, reheated some pizza from yesterday, and now um, I'm just relaxing on the couch, and Kendall's uh, painting a pumpkin for a contest for our apartment complex. I'll show it to you real quick. So she's going with the Charlie Brown theme. There you can see it. She's using that and she's painting it on the pumpkin. It's so, a work in progress. Yeah, it's a work in progress, but it looks really good so far. So that's, uh, that's what we're working on right now and uh, we'll see if we get into anything else tonight. So while we were at the hardware store today, I had to 
pick up some stuff to clean my boots and um, moisturize the leather on it so it doesn't they don't go bad so we picked up some conditioning oil and some saddle soap to clean them uh, it's supposed to be really good to to get the dirt and grime off of them and then after that you apply the conditioning oil and it just makes the leather last longer so we also got a polish applicator brush it's a horsehair brush and that's um, mainly for cleaning and conditioning it just makes makes the process easier and it's not like a normal brush where it would uh, scratch up the leather even though they're work boots and they really get put through it but uh, this just allows it to go easier and, and uh, doesn't ruin anything else so I'll show you um, for the first time how how I'm doing it and what's gonna go down so first I'm gonna take out the laces from the boots so that I can get into right here better um, to clean it and um, you can even wash the laces if you want but I'm not going uh, that in depth on it so and then see how you can just access in in here a little bit better and uh, clean them up so I'm gonna do that to the other boot and then we'll get started so first you want to fill up the, the lid of the saddle soap here I took the lid off of it and you fill it up with some warm water to dip the brush in because this soap is just uh, it's just dried up soap I think and so you want to dip the brush into the water and then swirl it around here like this so then just swirl it until it gets real real bubbly some soap on here and then we're just gonna go all around the boot here and as you can see just scrub it up so once you get this half the boot cleaned I'm gonna take a clean microfiber cloth and just just wipe it off Wipe all of the soap and the suds. You might have to change out rags here, but um, I'm just gonna go go over it, and you can see already how it really cleaned this up, and it it feels really moisturized already before I even uh, apply the conditioning oil. So I'm just gonna go around the boot here, and um, yeah, I'll come back whenever it's all cleaned up. So this was the first pair, and it's definitely darker right now. But once the leather dries off, it will um, it'll lighten back up. So they um, suggest that you wait about 24 hours before um, using the conditioning oil on it because you want to make sure the leather dries. So I might um, wash these again, just in the front, because they're really dirty. Um, haven't haven't washed them before, so I'll let them sit for a little bit while I wash this one, and then we might give this one another wash. So I just finished cleaning out both shoes, and they came out pretty good. Um, I definitely think I'm just gonna wait to oil them for 24 hours until they dry, and then I'm just probably gonna do them a little bit more more often, because they're it's still dark, but this is a lot more scuffing, so this will take a lot more um, care. So maybe the oil on it, and then wait a, a while, maybe a week or two and then uh, do it again. So yeah, that was the process for today. And um, maybe we'll get back with the conditioning oil tomorrow. So while I have all my stuff out and I'm practicing, I'm just gonna do Kendall's boots too. They're a lot newer and um, cleaner so they won't take as much time or um, as much effort. So let's get started with that. So we just got it cleaned, and now we will wipe it all off.
next day after we cleaned mine and Kendall's boots, you can see here, with the saddle soap and it gave it plenty of time to dry. So now we're going to do the conditioning oil and uh, see how it works. So I'm gonna take the same brush, I cleaned it all out and stuff and uh, get the tin of conditioning oil and I think with a dry brush, I'm gonna do this for sure. I'm just gonna get a little bit on it. And take the boot and just start just start swirling it around like, like we did with the uh, saddle soap. And that's both the boots done. So now I'm gonna move on to Kendall's and just put a nice uh, little layer. That is all four boots done. I'm just gonna make sure to rinse off this brush and then um, close up the container. And that was washing and conditioning them. So.